I don't know about anyone else, but I like to find games that match the same type of spring vibe. I call this list spring core cozy games. If you were making a Pinterest board of games that get you in the mood for spring, these are the games that you would play and hope this helps you guys to bring in the spring season. I really love the spring season. It's my second favorite season to fall and everything's just so pretty outside. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping outside of my window, but I've been hearing a lot more birds chirping. <laughs> lately so spring is here before i get started though my name is delaney i love talking about video games i do live streams over here mostly doing like stardew valley coral island and over here just chilling vibing all that good stuff if you guys want to hang out chill over here talk about games like and subscribe so we're gonna get started with some of my favorite spring core cozy games so first on the list is snufkin melody of moomin valley snufkin melody of moomin valley released in March and I think it was a perfect time for it to release from your favorite storybook character the Moomins and Snufkin and they are embarking on a new adventure in this video game inspired by the books. So in Snufkin Melody of Moomin you play as Snufkin. It's a musical adventure you leave Moomin Valley for the winter while the Moomins go into hibernation and you promise your best friend Moomin Troll you return in the spring spring core. So when you return back to Moomin Valley Valley. The valley has changed a lot over the winter. There is the park officer who is trying to take over Moomin Valley and change it to what he thinks will be the future of the Moomin Valley. But Moomin Troll is missing and the river has dried up. Snufkin embarks on a journey to find Moomin Troll and stop the park officer. On this musical adventure, you get to use different types of musical instruments to go through different obstacles, unlock different new areas. And I found this game to be just so Cozy. I don't actually have any knowledge of the Snufkin Moomin Troll, so I wasn't sure if I would be able to connect with the game, but I was so wrong. I love the dialogue. I feel like it gave everyone personality. Like Little Mai is my favorite because she's such a brat. I loved like interacting with her, and even though this one is a little bit on the short and sweet side, I found it to be very impactful. I really just enjoy it, the like simplicity of it, especially just like using the instruments to solve your problems. So next game on my list, and this is kind of what made me think more about spring core games and that is Botany Manor which just recently released. I also have a review up of it. I did talk about this already in depth about how much I love Botany Manor but just in case I'll give a little spill on it. Botany Manor is about Arabella Green. She's a seasoned botanist who returns back to her manor in Somerset, England. There she is trying to complete her herbarium. You get to explore Arabella's manor as you try to help her find clues so she can decipher how to grow all these mysterious plants she's received during her travels and I just find this game to be so beautiful and so cozy. I love the environment. I love everything about it and I have talked about this before but I just can't get over how much I loved it and it also is on the short and sweet side but I think it's the perfect game to bring spring in. Okay so next game this one's a Odie and a goodie. The new Pokemon Snap gives me that spring vibe. It's like when it becomes spring. I feel so happy going outside. So I feel like this kind of matches is that vibe to me because it's like in Pokemon Snap you get to go out um, in this like chamber and take pictures and bring it back to your for your Pokedex and I really love how vibrant and colorful it is. I really love seeing the Pokemon in their like natural habitat since most of the time you're trying to catch the Pokemon and it really makes the Pokemon have a little bit more of a personality. I really love that you get to see the Pokemon like study the Pokemon from like a more outsider point of view like a, kind of like you're doing your own nature docu. So next game on my list this is a newer one I played and that is Manami Lane. It's a management sim where you building the street you're trying to make sure the citizens that are living there are having a happy time. You're collecting trash. You're looking at the insights of all the different citizens whether they like the local bubble shop, if they like the park view and you just have to figure out how to manage balancing things like that. It, it gives you a little bit of a prompt. I really love that there are different prompts. So there's like the base game there's different levels where it gives you a prompt, it gives you a challenge, and lets you figure out how best to get your citizens to be happy based on the checklist prompts that they give you. Management sims just never catch my attention, but this one really just grabbed me and just didn't let go. So the next game on my list is Untitled Goose Game. And what better way to bring in spring than be a goose who is terrorizing a city? <laughs> I love Untitled Goose Game because it's like it gives you all these really cool puzzles 
goose that you have to figure out while um, is a goose make lots of mischief as you try to work your way through the town and wreak havoc and I just find this game to be so cozy I love the colors and the music it always makes me think of like it gives me like a little bear vibe like 90s cartoons and I really adore just being the little goose and um bothering all the citizens it's so fun if you want it to you can also have a player two to play with and you guys can have double the trouble so the last game on my list is plant tabby plant tabby is a chill sandbox game where you're managing like a little plant garden it starts out you're in the void you buy a plant as you progress you get to upgrade you can add walls you can add chairs and furniture and you're basically taking care of the plants in your shop and I don't know about you guys but I have not a green thumb in sight I love playing plant games where I can watch a plant thrive without the extra responsibility of oh I forgot to water it um you get to do that virtually which I love since a chill like lo-fi music you get these little prompts from someone texting you telling you like a plant that someone wants and it has to just be upgraded to like the heart system so um, like say a plant has to have like two hearts to be able to sell it to whoever is looking for the certain type of plant and I really just love the gameplay of this game because it's just such a very chill leisure game it's something that you can play at the end of the night and just kind of get cozy with and you know vibe with like it's such a nice chill game and I think it's the perfect spring game because of all the plants and I just really adore it that is my list of spring core cozy games hope you guys enjoyed this I just love like playing certain types of games during seasons because it just really helps you to get into that like mindset you know let me know what some of your favorite games to play during the spring thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day as always and see you guys in the next video bye